racing cars and raising cattle. You might not put the two together, although both professions certainly involve a lot of risk. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck has the story of how a professional drag racer used to living in the fast lane balances the work of running his own cattle and hemp farming operation. For Matt Hagen, working on his home farm in southwest Virginia is very different from his other full-time job. When he's not behind the wheel on a racetrack, Matt spends his days growing crops and taking care of his cattle. I got started in the cattle industry kind of by chance, I guess. You know, I, uh, I kind of bought a place and uh, 100 acres and I was trying to sell a house and basically couldn't get, the market was really bad and couldn't get it sold. And I'd been around horses and stuff my whole life with my family, but never really any cattle or anything like that. And and uh, so this, this 100 acres, you know, I, I was basically kind of like, what am I going to do with it? It's going to get overgrown, you know, like, what do I need to do? And uh, so I went out and bought 50 cows. And uh, that being said, I am a first generation farmer. So to start up a farm was, you know, I had to go out and get loans and buy equipment and buy land and pay for fencing and all that kind of stuff. And, and everybody goes like, man, why would you do that? But like at the time it made sense for me because I had this raw land and I needed something to do with that. And then I just really fell in love with it. And I just really had you know, become a passion of mine. Matt's racing career also came about almost by chance as a family friend got him interested, but he worked hard and he's had success on the track, winning the NHRA Funny Car World Championship in 2011 and 2014, as well as many other event titles. So to explain to you guys what a fuel funny car is, it's 11,000 horsepower, it's 330 miles an hour, and it happens in under four seconds. So we pull about six and a half Gs on a run and almost negative seven Gs putting the parachutes out. So I grew up around here, uh, locally here in Christiansburg, Virginia, and uh, never really thought about being a race car driver or never was like my ambition in life growing up, uh, you know, to, to go fast on a drag strip. Uh, one thing led to another and I started just doing these local drags on the weekends and just fell in love with it, you know? And I've been with Don Schumacher Racing almost 13 years now and uh, it's been great. I've won two world championships at 17 national records, won 37 races, and you know, it's just, it's a joy to crawl in the car every time, you know, but I've met a lot of great people and it's opened up new doors. Those open doors allow him an outstanding opportunity to share the story of cattle production and agriculture with his fans. Our sport is unlike any other sport. It's, it's very, we're very fan accessible. So uh, every ticket is a pit pass. So you don't have to be like some hot pass or know somebody or whatever. When you come into an NHRA race, you get to come up to me as a driver from me to you or whatever the ropes may be. You know, and that's what's really cool is that as a, as a driver and as a producer and a farmer, people will talk to you about their equipment and their farming operations and why they're farming and what they're doing with their stuff. And being able to engage with those fans like that really puts it back to being like salt of the earth kind of folks. You know, bringing New Holland in as a, as a corporate sponsor, really, you know, everybody knows that uh, I run all New Holland stuff now. And, and so the feedback that I get back from, from the folks that are running Blue, you know what I mean? And, which is great, I love hearing it. But it just, it's something they can relate to you and they can feel it. And they're like, you know, we run the same equipment as you do and we're, we like this because of this feature and we do this because of this. And, you know, these, these hay cutters are better because of that or whatever it may be. It's just kind of cool to see it all make a full circle, you know. This year on the farm, Matt and his team recognized the demand for local beef sold directly to consumers. So they worked quickly and began offering beef through Hagen Cattle Company. I started a, a, a Hagen Cattle Company to, you know, when this pandemic happened, just because I was like, how do we, you know, how do we feed people? You know what I mean? How do we get more beef in a, in a more, you know, freezers and around here locally? And, and uh, you know, it was a little bit of a challenge to do that. You know, basically a lot of red tape and a lot of behind the scenes stuff that nobody sees. But once I started it and offered it, it was just, it flew, flew off the shelves for us, you know, and we couldn't keep up. I've always had cow-calf operation and, you know, selling pot loads of calves and, different things like that. We'd wean calves, we'd, you know, we'd sell them, you know, balling and different things like that. Just kind of whatever the market depended upon or, or what we thought we could get the most for, you know, our, our dollar. And everybody knows in the cattle business that you're splitting pennies to make dollars. Never one to shy away from risk, Matt saw the potential to grow his operation by producing hemp as a result of the legalization of the crop in the 2018 Farm Bill. 
His True Harvest Farms is now one of Virginia's largest hemp farms, not only growing the crop, but also processing it into CBD products. True Harvest Farms is a large-scale hemp farm based in Christiansburg, Virginia, uh, owned by Matt Hagen. We, we grow industrial hemp for CBD and take it from uh, plants in the greenhouse to the field to finished products and offer uh, finished products straight to the consumer from our farm. Getting into hemp is something that um, I've been thinking about for a long time. From a growing standpoint and from the agricultural standpoint, we definitely have a lot of challenges with this crop that you wouldn't have in a normal circumstance uh, farming. You know, uh, first off, it's regulated by the state. The Department of Agriculture, you know, monitors how much we grow and, you know, there's licensing procedures and reports that have to be done that go along with all of that. And, you know, then we get tested at the end of the year. Now looking back, um, moving forward in our second year of hemp, uh, we, we definitely made some changes. We definitely made some adjustments to our, our overall um, production and the way we're, that we're going about, you know, our, our input costs and different things like that. The hemp industry is still in its infancy. So, you know, it's not quite established to where you have staple varieties at this point. And with the addition of the hemp operation, Matt turned to one of his race sponsors, his friends at New Holland, to help supply his expanded machinery needs. And what was great with New Holland was that, you know, I already had a great relationship on the cattle side of things. And I sat down uh, with the folks at New Holland and said, hey, look, this is what I want to do and this is why I want to do it. And, and here's, you know, I'm obviously going to need more tractors and more discs and more, more planters and, you know, just all this other stuff to get going. And they were like, we want to help you do this. Like, this is something that we believe in as well and that we have other, other producers out here doing this and we want to get in the game. And then already having a relationship with them, I was just so excited to, say, to hear the words coming out of their mouth like, yes, let's go do this. I think what's really cool is that the folks at New Holland, they were educated enough to understand that this is a good thing that we're trying to help people with. And they wanted to take their resources and put it behind this hemp company here at True Harvest and really support what we're doing. One of the world's leading drag racers, a cattle producer, and a hemp farmer. It's clear Matt Hagen is not slowing down a bit on the track or on the farm. In southwest Virginia, I'm Matt Fleck, reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Next week on Cattlemen to Cattlemen, we'll have a closer look at Matt's hemp operation and how New Holland helped support both his farms. In the meantime, you can go to HagenCattleCo.com to find out more about Matt's cattle and beef business. And don't forget that New Holland offers discounts on equipment exclusively to NCBA members. Go to NCBA.org to learn more and become a member.